Hey everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter, a channel for anyone interested in finding bargains for as little as a dollar and flipping them for profit. This week I made a little trip down to Ocean City, New Jersey, and I stopped in at some of their thrift stores. So let's go thrifting. This week I took a drive down to Ocean City, New Jersey to visit a friend and her family. It's a beautiful seaside town. Uh, just south of Atlantic City. A lot of people from the Philadelphia area go to Ocean City, New Jersey for the summer. Uh, there's tons of rentals there. There's um, a boardwalk with lots of food. Oh my gosh, there's frozen custard, there's pizza, there's hoagies, french fries, caramel corn. I mean, it's not a town to try and lose weight in at all. But it was a really fun time and there's a lot of things to do, including some thrifting. And a few blocks off the beach on Asbury Avenue, I did find quite a few thrift stores. And also just their regular stores are charming, like a five and dime from like the 1930s. It was really fun. At the end of the trip, I was driving back up to New York. I stopped at American Thrift that I go to quite a bit in Baldwin to see what they had. So let's check it out. My first stop was the Secondhand Boutique on Asbury Avenue. And I found these really pretty Culver glass frosted sailboat glasses that have 22 karat gold around the rims and also on the sailboats or schooners. I'm not sure which they're called. I know the number of sails can tell you what type of ship it is, but anyway, they're sailboats. I saw some comps for them. These were only a dollar each, so I, I figured this was a good buy. At one of the other thrift stores in Ocean City, uh, there was a $5 table and on it was this little candy dish that was uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves made by Lennox. I kind of debated back and forth on it. I was like, should I, shouldn't I, I'm not sure. I I kind of shy away from Lennox in general. I, I, I have a piece up that's for sale and it's been up for sale for quite some time. I don't feel like they move very quickly. And even though this had the Disney element to it, when I looked up sold comps, I saw that they ran maybe about $25 or so. One even just sold for 15. So I didn't feel like it was gonna be a big seller and I'm trying to, like be very selective on some of the things that I buy because I really need them to move. You know what I'm talking about? I think you do. On my drive back to Long Island, I stopped at American Thrift in Baldwin, New York. And there I purchased this Land Rover mug, which um, is fine bone china, exclusively designed by Land Rover. I could only find one, unfortunately, but I think I could get like $15 out of it. And for 99 cents, I thought it was a good deal. The other pieces I found were these teacups. I picked up this three footed uh, teacup uh, with a saucer and a dessert plate made in Japan by a company called Yukago, Ko, Yukago. You, yes, I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> anyway, it was only $2.99. Um, I think this one had some comps for just the teacup and saucer for $25. I'll list it for the $30 or $35 mark and see what, see how it goes from there. This one, interesting, it is made, also made in Japan, but Occupy Japan. Occupy Japan was the years between 1945 and 1952 that the Allies occupied Japan following World War II. So they marked a lot of their products Occupy Japan. I'm gonna check this one out. I can't find anything right now with this gray color and the, and the roses on it, but um, for $3.99, I thought this tea set was very nice. One of the things I did when I got back, I started updating my fall listings. I know it's kind of crazy, it's August, but I had a bunch of Halloween items that I wanted to refresh. So I ended the items and then I relisted them, updated them a little bit. And uh, so they're a little bit more fresh. You know what I'm saying? They need to be fresh. I stopped at a yard sale a few weeks back and I picked up this fabulous, pumpkin for $10. It was a little higher than I wanted to spend, but I've been to this one yard sale b before and this guy like picks up all kinds of blow molds and stuff like that, that he was selling for a lot higher. 
He had a couple pumpkins, but the other ones were cracked or broken. So this one was in pretty good condition. So I bought it for $10 and hopefully I can flip it for about 40 or 50. We'll see what happens on that. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this episode, please tap the like button and if so inclined, please subscribe. Until next time, keep on thrifting.